All right, y'all, we just went to the Chamber of Commerce and that's where you can get your hiker tag and register for your through hike. So got that and now we're official. I'm back on trail. It's an incredible day. We got a little bit of a road walk. It's really easy to miss when the trail goes back into the woods. So you really gotta be looking for it on the map, but here's our little opening. Okay, got ourselves a little creek crossing. Oh, that's pretty. I take my shoes off for this. Only fuel I need is the trail. <laughs> oh. We just stopped for a little bit of a lunch break and met up with Sammy. So far we've gone like a little over six miles. We got a little bit of a gravel road walk until the trail goes back into the woods. I think we'll push for about 13 more miles to Bull Gap tonight. Depending on what time we get there, we could possibly get a shuttle back to the POC and stay there one more night. The only reason I do that though is because my sleeping bag just arrived. So I have this whole sleeping bag saga going on right now. I got a new sleeping bag from z -Packs and it's 10 ounces lighter than my current sleeping bag and I'm dropping down to a 30 degree bag because I'm running a 20 degree right now which is a little bit overkill for right now anyway the stupid sleeping bag arrived like an hour after I left my house to come to Alabama and then so I had my mom send it to the Penhody Outdoor Center and Kim and Nathan were gonna run it up to me. And well, I just left there this morning and my mom sends me the tracking information and it's supposed to get there this afternoon. So, somehow I keep out running my sleeping bag, but I really want that. <laughs> so, she's gonna either run it out to me in the morning or like I said, we get there early enough then they could just pick us up. I can grab my sleeping bag, swap them out, put that one back in, uh, have them hold it for me and whatever. So anyway, all that to say, we shall see where the day takes us. It's um, a little after noon and it's perfect. Let's get hiking.
check that out. Just got to the top of this mountain and there's some nice tent spots here. So I think I'll take a little bit of a break and eat something. Don't mind if I do. <sighs> this is my snack. This is a date with some peanut butter. That is a cool rock formation. Cell phone tower, and I still only have one bar. All right, y'all, I'm about four miles from Bull Gap. It's only like 4.30. I think what the plan is, well, we really don't have a plan. Once we get there, we'll decide if the timing works out where they could just drop the sleeping bag off and we can swap it out, or if they have to come out all the way out and then we'll just go back to the hostel with them because there's another hiker they're picking up. Anyway, we'll, we'll see. It's so pretty out today, I love it. All right, I am taking this yellow blaze down to a spring for some water. I've been out for a few miles now. Looks like we got a little bit of a trickle. All right, secured the goods. Now we have to climb all the way back up this mountain. Oh. Made it. I already opened it because I was so excited, but let me show you guys. Here it is. My 30 degree bag and they send it in this awesome dry bag. I got the full zip 30 degree Z packs sleeping bag. And this thing weighs, I think, 15, 13 or 15 ounces. It is super, super light, especially compared to my 20 degree quilt that I've been using. And I'm just, oh, I'm gonna sleep with it tonight. I'm, I'm so excited to try this out. So timing did end up working out perfect. Totally could have slack packed today, but I didn't know that the sleeping bag was gonna come in today. So we just did a regular 20 miles with our full packs and ended up back here anyway. But tomorrow we hike out and we do not come back. That is, is the last time. We successfully got vortexed at the Pinhody Outdoor Center. And guys, I can't say enough about the people here, Kim, Nathan, Tigger, Chuck Norris, they are all just fantastic people. They're so helpful and you could just call them up and they will tell you anything you need to know about the Pinhody and help you through the entire process if you want to hike this trail. So yeah, Pinhody Outdoor Center is awesome. Thank you guys so much if you're watching. That is going to conclude today. Uh, we're going to try to get back on trail pretty early tomorrow. We started at 1030 this morning and I was done hiking by 545 and we did 20 miles. So 
yeah, this trail's super cruisy. I'm absolutely loving it. So, yeah, tomorrow we'll get out early, knock out some more miles, and I will see you guys then. Good night.